Hi everybody, Andy Lightbody, Rocky Mountain Television, and welcome to this edition of Gear Talk. You know, when you're out in the woods, probably one of your biggest enemies is the fact <clears throat> nowadays almost everything carries batteries. Everything is electronic. A lot of stuff is powered that way. And what do you do when you run out of batteries? What do you do when you run out of fuel? What do you do when the lights turn off? What do you do when you run out of propane? Well, I think we got a solution for you, and it's a very innovative solution in terms of new technologies. Joining me is Adam Nicosia from Goal Zero. Goal Zero, if you haven't heard of them, I'm telling you, you're going to be impressed simply because of the idea they've got something for everybody. Whether you're going out into the woods and listening to an iPad while you're hunting and fishing or camping, or you've got a full camp that you've got to run. Adam, thanks for taking the time to join us. Appreciate Tell it. Tell me about the history of Goal Zero. Kind of an interesting story how you all got started. Yeah, a few years back, our founder, CEO, uh, Robert Workman, basically set off in a uh, an attempt to do some nonprofit work in Africa. When he was there, he realized that lighting was a major issue. Power was not available on a regular basis. So he you set just out. You can't go down and, and mm. plug into the hippo pond no. or anything, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you really can't. And so what he did is he looked for every solution available to us in you know, today's society. What was available? Is it portable? Is it something that works? Is it something that will actually power lighting in the uh, area of what they were trying to do? Uh, after finding that nothing seemed to solve that problem, he started a company called Goal Zero. Goal Zero specializes in the portable easy to use, reliable uh, solar power. Everything from small solar panels that charge handheld devices, phones and cameras and other devices, all the way to a large system like you alluded to earlier, things that power camps, lights, entertainment solutions, and any other type of communication device that you would need. Let's start with a couple of the products here. This is the Nomad 7. Yep, this is this our... Is your the little baby, yeah, yeah, yeah the, little, the little guy. You know, in, in reality, this is your daily use. This mm -hmm. is the solar panel you're going to take with you. You're going to open it up. You're going to attach it to a backpack. You're going to put it there. And then you're going to basically carry this with you anytime you go anywhere. And this is going to power my what? It'll power your handheld devices, cell phones, GPS units, two-way radios. It could be a Kindle to read off of. It could be any other type of iPod or you know your iPhone or those types of devices. With its panel, you're going to charge those devices as if you're plugged into the wall. Okay. It's a very powerful panel and it also gives you two options. You have a USB port so you can plug in those devices that use the USB port, like a little GoPro camera or those Got types it. of items. Yep. You also have a 12 volt plug so anything that would plug in with the adapter for your cigarette lighter in your car, mm -hmm. you would also charge that directly from this panel. And you got a little battery pack yep. here too. So, so th this panel is in our line the only panel that directly charges from the sun to the device. Okay. It did not have a battery source until now. We've come up with our Guide 10. The Guide 10 is a small battery unit that basically charges AAA batteries or AA batteries directly from the solar panel. Now is there two different units that I would get if I want a AA versus AAA? It basically has a very simple little insert. I'll show you right here. You just basically... Because that's, that's the thing, too. That's it. What if I get into a camp and I need both? You just take it with you. And there it is. There you go. Okay. You've got it. You just simply put your batteries right into it, lock it in place, plug it right into the solar panel, take it with you throughout the day, rotate those batteries, or if you need it, it becomes a battery pack. By itself. And you can run small lighting solutions like our USB light that basically plugs right into now the that's USB. That's like a little pin light yeah. system. It runs on a quarter of a watt. <laughs> so you're looking at, long, you know, off of a 10 watt battery, you know, four AA batteries, you're uh -huh. looking at, uh, what, 20, 40 hours worth of lighting? Um, basically, it uh, just so plugs right in. So if I'm sitting right in camp at night, yeah. all by myself, I want to read a book, yep. there's enough light here Absolutely. that I can go ahead yep. and enjoy myself, and then charge my batteries up the next yeah. day, yeah. and I'm good to go yeah. for however long I'm in camp. Correct. Let's kick it up a notch. Yep. So this unit right here is our lightweight portable power solution for you if, light, if weight's an issue, or if you need to use it on a day-to-day -day basis. And size, obviously. It's, it's awesome. It'll go into a day pack easy enough. 12 ounces, you're good to go. All right. Now, s go ahead. Go ahead. Move it yeah. up. Yep, stepping it up a this little bit. This is the Sherpa. We move up to our Sherpa line. The Sherpa line is lightweight, very powerful batteries that charge from solar panels. Okay. So we have large panels like this that are basically 30-watt panels mm -hmm. that you can open these up. I'll have you help me out here. And it folds out oh, to wow. that. Okay. <laughs> so, and then, like, I've got a lot of capacity like all of one. our other products, mm -hmm. it actually folds up really nice and compact. Okay. Easy to use. 
and once again, ultra portable. And I'm feeding all that power that I'm getting from the sun Correct. into what now? Directly into a battery pack. This is what we call our Sherpa 120 battery pack. So on this battery pack, you're going to have 120 watt hours of stored power. Layman's term, six and a half hours on a laptop. Charge multiple devices through USB or 12 volt. You also can invert that power to AC power with a universal inverter. Which then gives me the opportunity to do what? Run this? Small appliances, things that would pit like laptops. Uh, it could be a DVD player. It could recharge two-way radios. Any types of those devices that only have the standard plug for your plug home. In, right. Go okay. right into this device. So it's excellent if you're traveling for work, if you're hunting, if whatever you're doing and you need power, in a capacity that will run those, you know, handheld devices, those larger type of, you know, communication or entertainment pieces of equipment. Got it. This would be your solution for that. Kick it up a notch. Now you got the big boy over here. Yep. Last night, and the reason we're dressed this way, folks, is that we've been <laughs> out here goose hunting. Last night we found a spot where the geese were coming in, sitting in the field, out on the water, and we got permission to get in there early this morning. But to do that, we needed to go out last night and dig pit blinds, get everything into position, set up decoys. Well, there wasn't a lot of moon last night. And even if there was, nobody wanted to go out into a cornfield with rows and rows and hedges and things like that <laughs> and stumble around. So what did Adam do? He says, aha, wait a minute. I have the 150 system. Correct. Tell me about the 150 well, the system. 150, this is the big boy. The, what the 150 does is it actually has three components in it. You have your battery, of course. You have a charge controller, which protects that battery from overcharge and too much discharge. Okay. Then we've gone ahead and built the inverter directly into it. So I don't need any other outside that components? You need, one, you need the battery itself. Right there. And then you need the solar panel, which recharges that battery. That's it. These are not just your little, you know, like a flashlight beam. Correct. These are, tell me about them. These are more of a lantern type fill. It's a three <coughs> watt draw. So you're going to be able to run this lantern by itself for 50 hours off this battery. 40 hours off this battery. It gives you a prolonged life of lighting, so you can, if you're out of field like we were last night, yep. using it to you know dig blinds and and set get stuff it, get stuff set up. This is where you would want to be. It's, uh, it sells heavily in the emergency preparedness side, it's and it becomes lot. a base camp solution. Uh -huh. This is where that generator comes in. Kick the generator out. Use this for your lighting solutions. Eliminate the fuel. Eliminate the extra weight of the generator, and you're all set to and go. And with the increase of capacity, not only can I just run the lights, but I can still plug in other stuff. Right? Absolutely, like all. I, mean, I could run my TV, my DVD player. Absolutely. Uh, small little television. Yep. 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 Uh, Everything basically plugs in through the AC, mm -hmm. just like you do at home. You have that wall socket plug, you plug right in, you're good to go. You can also plug into the USB port so I could charge a cell phone, run my light, and pl work on my laptop. All at the same time. All at the same time. Okay, now the $64 question as we get ready to wrap this up is, okay, this all sounds really good. How long does it take to recharge this unit? From one single solar panel, which is our Boulder 15, okay. this panel is 15 watts. So in a direct sunlight like today, it would take about 10 hours from dead to full off that single panel. Full. Correct. Okay. Now, the way to decrease that time is to string panels together. You can actually link them together in parallel, which gives you an increased amount of wattage, decreasing charge time. So a 30 watt panel, five hours. Plug it into the home at wall, you get it, uh, what, four hours for a full charge. Outstanding. So, and the same thing with these. Even these will link together. Absolutely. I can go from yep. the 50 to 100 to 150 you Just keep to, linking them together, yep. You know, I'm yep. living it only by my imagination. Huh? There you go. People would like more information about Goal Zero and the innovative products that you people are manufacturing and now obviously hitting this out, out, uh -huh. outdoor marketplace as well as, hey, home preparedness and things like that. Where would you like to send them? Well, we can send them to multiple places. Uh, first, our home website is goalzero.com, and that's just goal spelled out and zero spelled out as well, dot com. We're also available at all major outdoor retailers as well. Super. So. Outstanding. Thanks for taking the time to, to, to talk with us. As you can see, very innovative products, lightweight. I mean, the idea, trust me, I've seen the stuff in the past where you needed so many pieces and parts, you almost defeated the purpose of why you wanted to go solar because it weighed as much as some of the small generators. And sometimes it didn't work the way it was supposed to. We got to see this stuff in action last night. And I'm telling you, it's extremely impressive. It's something that probably is gonna end up in our kit bag. So if you see us <laughs> out in the dark, you won't see us out in the dark for long. Thanks to the folks at Goal Zero. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Andy Lightbody on this edition of Gear Talk.